Hi, I'm Mike. I'm the founder of Overload. We are a strength conditioning facility based in Melbourne. So we opened just after COVID, about yeah, just over two years ago, um, in a smaller unit than this. Uh, we outgrew that quite quickly. Uh, we went from no classes to 10, now we're about 18 classes a week. We do kind of small groups, uh, for everything kind of 10 to 15 people. Um, and yeah, we really kind of expanded now it's into this unit for the last kind of six months. Learned a lot in the last few years about myself as much as anything else, but it takes a lot of hard work. It's been a great journey. You know, there's a great space for this kind of thing. And the industry is kind of growing and kind of better educated in the importance of health and fitness. Um, I think it's been a really challenging time after COVID. I think people appreciate the health more now. Getting that message out there, trying to uh, build up communities again, because that was one of those tough things that kind of we really lost maybe all throughout COVID. I think it's evolved quite a lot, actually. I think from my experience from before here, I've kind of been in a few different places and kind of seen some good things and bad, and I've tried to take that obviously into my own space. Um, we have evolved in terms of size. We've had classes for five or six, and now we're some classes up to 80, 90, 20 people. We've evolved in terms of size, but I think we have a community now. Like we're well known in the area. We're trying to kind of outreach to further people, whether that's kids, where we're trying to kind of pre approach postnatal classes, stuff for older generations. We're trying to be much more of a kind of holistic, all around approach now to fitness. So I've used Wolfson in previous spaces before when I've been managing other gyms and they've always been really good, reliable equipment, never really had any issues with it, which when you own your own space, members have their own challenges, they don't need to worry about equipment. Uh, they've always been there on the phone for me, which has been useful, equipment comes on time, it's always been really robust. It's just good quality stuff, right? We are, uh, as a kind of functional fitness facility, we want that kind of equipment that we know is not going to break, that's flexible to use, that we can get out when we need it, put it away when we don't, and just have that variety in our session. So it's really useful for that. In this facility, I wanted space. We tried to go with things that were flexible. Um, so when I was speaking to Wilson, that was kind of the conversations we had when kind of designing the gym getting mobile squat racks so we could put them away, bring them out when we need them, those kind of things, things that were space savvy a little bit as well. I think more and more people want space to be able to move and be able to lift and do more dynamic stuff. Like that's kind of, I think why we've benefited from it so much. Yeah, certainly. Like I've recommended it to other friends who have tried to do similar ventures and I think value for money wise, it's, it's great. So we can't get around that side of it. And the quality of the, the equipment is, is very good. Um, it's equipment I have used personally as well, like that I had in my own home gym. Um, and again, it was, I, I, I ordered, I bought what I wanted to train with personally. And what I want also my members to experience.